Hey, I'm Dan with Readwise, and today I'm going to explain to you how you can effortlessly get your PDF highlights into Readwise, and then I'll also give you some tips for uh, the optimal workflow that we've been able to discover if you use PDFs a lot in your workflow. Um, so if you're like me, you probably stopped reading PDFs for a period of time, probably have a folder somewhere on your computer filled with PDFs that you never looked at, um, I, for one, don't really love reading on a computer screen. It's impossible to read a PDF on your phone. Uh, and up until recently, there hasn't been a great way to highlight and get your highlights out of PDFs, which uh, for me, with a really robust Readwise workflow, has been kind of a deal breaker. Uh, but we're happy to announce that uh, we can now parse 90% of the PDFs that are out there and get those highlights into Readwise. So then you can start interacting with them and resurfacing them as if you'd highlighted a Kindle book or an Instapaper article. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through the base functionality real quick. Um, I'm still on Windows because I need to use Excel, so don't make fun of me, but um, I personally have a, a folder full of PDFs. I'm gonna open uh, this book that a friend of ours, Eric Jorgensen, sent us, The Alvanac of Novel Ravikant, which is a, a great book, I highly recommend it. Um, I've got it opened in Edge because Edge has a highlighting tool, whereas Chrome does not, but you might open it in Preview on Mac or in Adobe Acrobat or you know the thousand of PDF apps that are out there um, and, and read it that way. And it is obviously important that the PDF app that you have um, has a highlighting function, otherwise this is going to be um, completely worthless. And just so you know, we maintain a list of all the different uh, PDF apps that are supported that we know of in the help document. So here are a list. And then there are a couple apps which are not supported because they're not actually taking uh, PDF highlights. They're not making annotations within the PDF file. Instead, you can think of them as they're like drawing images on top of the file, and therefore we can identify them. The parser can identify them as highlights. Uh, but fortunately, Edge is one such browser, so I've scrolled down here to the kind of the body of the book. Maybe I find a paragraph I like about getting rich, and I come here and highlight it. Um, so when you make a PDF in a PDF file, you're actually modifying the file, so it's important to save it. Okay, and this saves the highlight on top of the file, and now you just need to get this into Readwise. So there are two ways you can do it. Um, if you're on a desktop computer, the, the easiest way will probably be to come to your Readwise dashboard, go to Add Highlights, go to PDF Import, and then drag and drop the file to upload it. Um, while that's going, I can show you the other way. Um, this is probably the this other way is the easiest way if you're doing it from mobile, be it from your phone or a tablet like an iPad. Uh, but you can just Create an email to add at readwise.io, um, and this has to come to from a, a, an email address recognized by Readwise, and then you can just attach the file and then send it this way. Um, and after Readwise has parsed the file, we'll let you know if it was successful or if for some reason it was unsuccessful because lots of times users forget to save the file. Um, or they take it in one of these apps, which is drawing an image on top of the PDF as opposed to actually annotating it. So here you can see that it was successfully imported and it found the highlight. And now beautiful, we've got the page. You know, this will be resurfaced like any other book. Um, now if you'll notice, the title of this is kind of weird and there's no author, okay? And that's because PDFs have metadata. So if you're using PDFs a lot in your reading workflow, it's important that you go and you edit this metadata at the beginning, uh, but fortunately in Readwise we can going to we can now edit this metadata after the fact. So here instead I can write the almanac of Naval Ravikant, and we can put Eric Jorgensen here. And if this were not a book, if this were an article, you could also move it that way. Okay, but now it's fixed, and now it, it formats much prettier. So that's how to use PDFs with Readwise in a nutshell. Uh, the, the most powerful workflow I found, however, is to use 
you know, as of September 2020, is to use an iPad, ideally an iPad Pro, with a Pencil to Tool. Sorry, a Pencil 2. And if you do this, it can just be an amazing workflow for PDFs. So there are dozens of great PDF app, apps out there. We often get asked, like, which do you recommend? And the honest answer is, it depends on your use case. Um, so we recommend that you download and sample a couple of the apps. I personally like PDF Expert, but I have friends who like I annotate. Um, the reason just comes down to personal preference. Uh, but once you get one of these apps, you can hook it up to a cloud drive, for example, Google Drive or Dropbox or Box or Apple iCloud, and you can constantly have a folder of PDFs synced, like I have right here in PDF Expert. And when you do that, you can come to the PDFs, and then we can just open the PDF that I was just on. And here you can see that the highlight I just took on my computer is already synced on my iPad. Um, and I find this to be an incredible reading experience. And then when I'm done with the PDF, I can just find within the app some sort of share uh, utility. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oops, it went away. You can find the share, hit share, and then email it to additreadwise.io. Um, so that would be our ideal recommended workflow. I have to read a lot of PDFs um, for what I do. So for me, it was entirely worth the investment. Uh, in this setup. And if you have to read a lot of PDFs, I recommend you do so as well. All right. I hope that helped you guys get started with PDFs and Readwise.